Hello guys and welcome to Mr. Inkblood. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very simple um, painting process of a uh, Kung Fu Panda um, fan art I made. Um, you can see here I'm using the this open source program called Alchemy. Maybe some of some of you already know it. Maybe you don't. Uh, but it's a pretty pretty nice program in order to make your basis for uh, a painting or an illustration. Uh, as you can see, you can very simple simply control your your strokes. It's it's very very nice, and you can pick a lot of colors. You know, and you can also make a lot of of shapes I'm using just um, I think it's called speed speed shapes I, I don't really remember but uh, I'm making here you know like the silhouette of Po uh, from Kung Fu Panda and I'm just wa I'm just trying to make it really really simple because it's just like the first stage of the process but I'm really liking it and um, I was really going to you know practice a little bit with this program because I just downloaded it and I was like okay I don't really know how this works so let's let's put it to the test you know and I was really ha I am really having a lot of fun with this program it's it's so cool you really should try it I'm going to you know put the um, the link below in, in the description okay so now here I'm just you know putting some details some shadows in order to make it is more simple for me to keep rendering this picture in in GIMP I, I, I don't really use Photoshop I know a lot of people use Photoshop but I, I don't know I just don't like it I don't know why uh, sometimes I, I get a little bit lost or I don't know I haven't tried that hard because uh, I got GIMP first so uh, but anyways uh, after this is done it's it's a very simple you know scribble kind of thing but after this is done I saved it as um, JPEG and then I imported it into the GIMP and I just started you know like uh, rendering it so this is the final of this first stage and then as I said before I imported to the GIMP I made a second a duplicate of the layer and now I'm using the texture brush the I think it's a default brush I don't really remember but uh, I was like just trying to make this very simple environment I think it was like a mount mountain kind of environment yes yes I want to make this scene when he's like mm, just walking and leaving all those mountain befo behind um, that was the principal idea but I think it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Be I, I don't know. I don't really know why. I just saw it and it was like very very mm, different as as I thought. So I started putting these like bamboo thingies. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make then uh, like a bamboo forest because well you know pandas like bamboos and I really like bamboos they have like I don't know those those really nice shapes I don't really know I, I just love the, the bamboo 
um, kind of the the colors and um, the leaves they have. I don't know. So you know, I, I'm just working in uh, one layer. Uh, I I want to make a lot of layers, but I, sometimes I just um, forget about it. So I just continued with uh, the one layer, and I'm just you know like all that scribble. I'm trying to make it s become a more precise kind of form and you know I'm using the speed size opacity function because in game you have that it's a very very nice tool very very nice feature you have in GIMP you can change very very to a very very different kind of dynamics I don't I think Photoshop has to do I don't really know but it's a very nice future, uh, I think, in GIMP. And well, I, here I'm just adding a, a little bit of light. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to make a very, very um, detailed uh, kind of painting, but as uh, time went by, I was like, no, no, I, I really want to do a more detailed. But I didn't record it, all the process. Uh, I just recorded like 45 minutes of the the basis, and then I just started, uh, you know, like rendering it uh, for a very long time. I don't really know how much time I invested in this project, but. Uh, at the at the at the end of this video you are going to see the final result and also you can check it out on my DeviantArt but anyways I'm you know just keeping keep putting some you know like the the patches in pose pants and um, I I was a little bit confused because uh, I I didn't knew how much patches uh, the the pants have, so I was like, okay, let's just put one of them, and then uh, later on I will, you know, like check out a reference, and I'm uh, I'm going up again with the bamboo things. Um, just making them a little bit darker because you know they look really really soft and of course the, the closer they are they need to really have this dark color or they are going to be like the, the perspective is going to be wrong I'm sorry if I'm uh, being a little bit slow or if I don't really talk <laughs> very nice but uh, I'm a little bit rusty on my English so um, and this is my first video so anyways um, I'm still you know like working on them um, very very simple very very nice I'm, I think I'm using the the knife uh, kind of brush uh, it says block O3 but I think it's a knife a knife brush brush and then now I'm using the vegetation brush just to you know put a little bit of life in there very very quick and using you know like different different uh, colors some a little bit darker some a little bit lighter and uh, trying to give the bamboo forest more life because you know sometimes you can do a really really stiff kind of things you know uh, so try to put some life in your paintings
I'm not a pro uh, I don't really like work in a big company I'm just uh, studying uh, animation design and well they don't really give us you know like um, concept art for video games or anything like that I'm just studying that by myself and well uh, I think I'm making a process a progress I don't really know but I'm just happy with it uh, here I, I added a new layer and I'm putting some light in overlay I think just to give some more life into the drawing putting some shadows in the front and then of course the shadows of the bamboo uh, going through the body of Poe and yeah I, I saved it and this is the final result of that session as you can see it's really really simple uh, but I think it, it looks nice for a very very simple kind of painting the, yeah it took me about like 45 minutes so it's not like the, the very very neat kind of result I was expecting but I think it's, it looks nice but uh, there was my my signature but I changed it for the one you saw in the beginning of the video and now here is the final result I was like walking on it I don't know maybe eight hours I don't really remember but I think it really really looks nice I really love the result you know it's it's a little bit simple but I think it's nice so I hope you like this video uh, as I said I'm not a pro but you know I um, just want to share this with a lot of people and well if you like my videos stay in contact and see you guys later have a good day